Good morning. You're watching Barnsworth Sports. I'm Alicia Bean. And I'm Catherine Oliver. Barnsworth Academy Sky Sports English Group are on an outstanding opportunity to interview former rugby star and now head teacher Mr McLeod. Blast from the past, the head teacher Mr McLeod shared extraordinary memories of the students. As you'll see, the students get a unique glance into the 1980s rugby life. These were in the, they were in the national papers. And there you go. Um, Leeds took the major share of Lionet Ball, even though much of it was the kind that McLeod, a resourceful scrum half, would no not normally written home about. So there you go. So that was that one. But at the same time, just to show you who I also played for, so that was my uni team, but the team I played for, I'll find it, they go with a team called Headingley, which is now Leeds Carnegie, if you've ever heard of that. So it's basically Leeds. So there you go. There, there's, the, there's a former programme, and they played for Headingley, and at that time, Headingley were the rugby best team in the country. So they were the team of the month. Okay? So that, that's who I played for before you. And here's this one. This is Link. Oh, that's the cup final one, sorry. Um, to show we beat Lincoln in the final. We played for them. And that's another. And this is also. I then also played for Lincoln after that. And as it will show you in here. Um, Cloud was scrum half, and there's a little what they call pen pal. You know when you get programmed and they write your history, so you get form cloud, scrum half, age, <coughs> height five foot ten, weight thirteen and a half stone. Paul's playing record is quite impressive. Playing schoolboy rugby, you end up playing for Bath Colts, and as you know, Bath. As you saw in the clip, Mr. McLeod, head teacher of Barnes Wallace Academy, he had said that he had a moustache back when he played rugby, which the pupils found very funny because they were not used to seeing like this. This was the children's first interview, and as you could see, they were very professional because it seemed like they've been doing it for ages. At the end of the interview, Mr. McLeod showed his pupils photos about his past when he played rugby. Do you still know anyone now from playing rugby when you was younger? You mean from school? Or, yeah. um, I don't know anyone still from school because um, when I moved away, I moved away, and I've never seen anyone from school since the age of 18. What about any clubs? So for a lot of the clubs here, a lot of them have what are called reunions and they have dinners and things. So I, I go to a lot of those, so um, I go back to quite a lot. And I still see a lot of the people my age who played rugby at the same time, because a lot of us had children at the same time, and our children play rugby. So when our children play rugby, we actually meet up with people that we played against, and that's really good. As you mentioned, you were captains of two or three clubs. How quickly did you get the role of a captain? Uh, usually quite quickly. Um, it was either one of the things that when I played for them, they paid you to go and be the captain, or usually within a year of being there, I became the captain. Did you ever think, playing for your school rugby team, did you ever think you would try for the championships? No, not really. When you when you're at school, you just you just play because you love playing and you enjoy it. Um, it's only when you get a little bit older and they do things like county trials and you get to play for your for your county, and then you go a little bit further and you play for the south and southwest, and then you get a final England trial and you start thinking, hey, I might be quite good at this. But mainly, you play a to play with your friends and b because you love playing. Do you miss anything about you, e.g. your moustache? <laughs> I don't miss my moustache. That was very fashionable at the time, but in today's world that would not look good. Um, but yeah, if I could still play rugby, I would still play rugby. What were your greatest accomplishments? That's a very good question, really. I, I think, um, I don't know, things like um, going to clubs and winning trophies is always brilliant. You always enjoy that. And I just think... Uh, I just enjoyed the whole 20 odd years of playing rugby. Rather than winning the trophies, it's actual enjoyment you get out of it and the people you meet, and as somebody asked earlier on, the people that you still see 20 years after you've played and you're still best of friends and you're going to have a drink together and talk about it. That's the best thing. When you used to like walk around towns and stuff, did you get recognised? <laughs> No, not really. Rugby wasn't a very popular sport in those days, and it certainly was not on telly like it is today. There was one programme on a Sunday afternoon for an hour called Rugby Special, and that was it. It wasn't like it is today, so no, not really. Thanks for watching Barnsley Sports.